Tire pressure monitoring systems are a system to relay information about tire pressure to the driver inside the vehicle. Tire pressure is very important in the performance of your vehicle. It dictates fuel economy, handling, and tire life. Now the first car to implement a tire pressure monitoring system was the Porsche 959. That was back in 1986. And Europe quickly took hand of the tire pressure monitoring system, implementing it on a number of their vehicles as a safety and maintenance feature. It wasn't until some time later that we adopted the tire pressure monitoring system in the United States. It became standard equipment on all vehicles through the Tread Act, which was enacted by President Clinton during the Firestone fiasco, where many people lost their lives due to underinflated tires. The Tread Act was enacted by Congress in response to the Ford Firestone situation, and it included a large number of new regulations that NHTSA was directed to implement. One of them had to do with tire pressure warnings. And one of the things that was found during this time is that consumers do not keep their tires properly inflated. And keeping tires properly inflated is very necessary for both safety, and it actually also helps to promote fuel economy. And so NHTSA came about to develop a regulation that would provide people with a warning to say, one of your tires is becoming significantly underinflated and needs to be serviced. And this warning operates independently of any activity from the consumer so that consumers are always told one of your tires has a slow leak that needs to be addressed. It didn't take long for the Corvette to follow suit with the Porsche 959. In 1989, Chevrolet offered a tire pressure monitoring system in the Corvette. That came with run-flat tires. Now, run-flat tires, if you're not completely aware, allow you to get to the next service station if you have a flat tire. One of their disadvantages, though, is they don't provide that driver feedback to let you know you have a low tire. So a lot of Corvette owners were driving around with flat tires and not realizing it. This tire pressure monitoring system kept them aware of the condition and the state of their tires. Now, in 1997, with the introduction of the C5 Corvette, run-flat tires were made standard equipment. In order to keep the driver aware of the tire pressure, again, Chevrolet installed as standard equipment a tire pressure monitoring system. The direct variety with the pressure sensor and radio link inside each tire. Now, when a single tire goes underinflated, under 25 psi, it informs the driver. If that same tire goes under 5 psi, the car informs the driver they have a flat tire. Otherwise, if the tire goes above 42 psi, the car informs the driver the tire is overinflated. There's a couple different types of tire pressure monitoring systems. The first type is the direct tire pressure monitoring system. This is implemented with a pressure sensor inside the tire coupled with a transmitter, a radio link. This radio link and pressure sensor in the tire talk to a receiver inside the vehicle. This receiver is then in turn read out on the dash, displaying the tire pressure to the driver. The second variety is actually cheaper to implement because it doesn't require a tire pressure sensor and transmitter inside the tire. What it does is it views the tire from inside the tire well and measures 
angular velocity, uh, thickness of the tire, wobble of the tire, any number of things can be measured to infer tire pressure. This means with the indirect type, it's cheaper to implement because you don't need that sensor in the tire, but it's more difficult to use because it requires some degree of calibration. Okay, I'm going to show you a tire pressure sensor here attached to my rim. This is the sensor itself. It has the transmitter and sensor uh, inside of here along with the battery. And that's just on the inside of the valve stem. It has a battery because there's no direct connection between that sensor and the battery in the car. And what happens is every so often, those batteries go dead. Unfortunately, to go and get a set of new tire pressure sensors is in the hundreds of dollars. And that's all because the batteries have gone dead in them. Now, it can be advantageous to replace those batteries yourself. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment, but first I'd like to talk a little bit about the tire pressure sensors themselves. Now there's two varieties of tire pressure sensor for the C5 Corvette. The first variety was installed between 1997 and 2000. This variety worked with the older body control module that featured passive entry. The newer variety of tire pressure sensor went with the 2001 through 2004 Corvette. And it's actually used on a number of other cars as well. The newer sensor, it lasted longer. That was the idea because it only transmits periodically to the body control module in the passenger side footwell. And that was to extend the life of the battery inside the sensor. So if you want to, what I do is I go and I find these tire pressure sensors that need a new battery and then I rebuild them ahead of time so that when I get my tires replaced, I can just swap the new ones I've, I've replaced the battery in into the tire. Now you can get sensors from junkyards, from your tire store, they just throw them away. Or I, I've gone many times to internet forums and requested in their parts classifieds for uh, tire pressure sensors. All these work really well. 